What is up, Dallas Cowboys fans? IndyCar Tim here with your Cowboys Commanders post game show. And what a performance by the Cowboys all the way around. Uh, you know, much like the Carolina game last week, it was slow, slow starting, slow going there for a while. The Cowboys still had some big plays. The game was really never in question for me, and I'm sure it wasn't for anybody, the way the Cowboys' defense was playing, the way the offense was playing. And just like the Carolina game, you come on in the fourth quarter. Cowboys scored 25 fourth-quarter points uh, as it was 20-10 to 10 heading into the final frame, including the Duran Bland pick six, returned 63 yards, and this one wasn't easy to return. He had some t- some would-be tacklers to dodge uh, and break free from, but he did it for his fifth uh, pick six for this on the season, which is an NFL record. Uh, he's chasing Rod Woodson, I believe, uh, with 12 is the I – mean, that's career, I think. Uh, I don't remember what the numbers are. I looked him up early in the game, but I don't remember what it was. I've slept since then, not really. Um, but, uh, you know, overall performance by the Cowboys, amazing. Dak Prescott worried me a little bit early in the game. He had a couple of overthrown balls of wide-open receivers that very early on concerned me slightly, but he got over it. He, he had a couple of other misses. But you know what? Overall, 22 of 32 for 331 yards, four touchdowns. Nobody is going to complain about that. Um, Tony Pollard, 13 carries, 79 yards, one touchdown. Brandon Cooks, your leading receiver, four catches, 72 yards, one touchdown. Just a, and man, I thought the offensive line had one of their better games that they've had this season. Uh, it looked like an offensive line that has two surefire Hall of Famers in it. Um, of course, with uh, Tyron Smith and uh, Zach Martin. And I, I never considered this before, but uh, Tony Romo and Jim Nance mainly. Uh, was throwing out there that Tyler Smith uh, has a has a short path to the Hall of Fame. I don't know how you know that this early in his career, but, I mean, he had a good game. I won't argue with that. I will never dispute anything the great Jim Nance says on the air. But, uh, yeah, the offensive line, I think, had their best performance of the season, quite possibly. The Cowboys now in their three-game winning streak since the loss to the Eagles <clears throat> have outscored their opponents. 125 to 37, and they are plus four in those three games in turnovers. So everything clicking for the Cowboys right now, and uh, you need this kind of momentum as you head into the home stretch now of your uh, your schedule. You're getting into the a, a real hard run here of you as you've got the Seahawks at home, the Eagles at home, and then you hit the road to face the Bills in the middle of December and then down south in the AFC East to the Dolphins before returning home against the Lions on December 30th. And then you close out the season against these same Washington Commanders uh, at FedEx Field where they probably won't be able to take hot showers because they don't have running water in FedEx Field. Still, it's stupid over there. But, you know, you hope the Cowboys can continue some of this. You don't expect the dominance to continue necessarily winning by, you know, 35, 40 points every game, but... You'd like to see some the, the, the good play continue, and you'd like to see the wins certainly accumulate. You need that December 10th win against the Eagles at AT&T Stadium, and you need some help. You need the Eagles to lose again, maybe twice, to catch them for the NFC, uh, the NFC East title. And, man, how great would it be for the Cowboys, as well as they're playing at home this year, for them to have some home field playoff advantage games and you know this season because good lord they're a different team not that they're a bad team on the road especially against bad teams look what they just did to Carolina but clearly they play better at home this year and that's great because that has not always been the case uh in, in recent memory so kudos to the Cowboys Dan Quinn had his his unit ready to play Mike McCarthy had his unit ready to play it's so good to see Brandon Cook's getting in the uh, involved in the offense the last few weeks uh, like we knew that he could when he signed. It's what I've always expected for him. I was really hoping he and Prescott could get a little bit of chemistry going while uh, Gallup still tries to figure out what the heck's going on with his game. But uh, CeeDee Lamb, uh, clearly still your number one receiver. 
And, you know, again, Cowboys are clicking on all cylinders right now, as they should be. And it's fun to watch. It's fun to see. And, uh, you know, I don't know what else you can say. Just they got to maintain this momentum. They got to maintain this this winning attitude uh, at, before they have to hit the road here. Again, against a really hard stretch of all teams that are potential playoff teams this season. Um, so we know what their history is against bad teams. We've seen their only two real performances against good teams this year in uh, San Francisco and Philadelphia. That's the kind of talent level you're going to see clearly in the postseason. So we need to see something for the Cowboys against these good teams down this stretch uh, coming up. So, uh, again, uh, Cooks, your leading receiver, four, four catches, 72 yards. Lamb ended up with four catches. 53 yards. The only thing that concerns me about Lamb, he did have a touchdown too, is he had four catches on nine targets. I don't like seeing those those targets go to waste. Uh, again, you know, Dak wasn't completely accurate throughout the game, especially early. He had some big-time misses. He had a couple of other big-time misses. Ca- uh, the Cowboys receivers were wide open all day long. He literally could have had his choice of targets just about on every play. The commander's secondary had nothing uh, to offer Cowboys, but, uh, Curtis Samuel, really your only big, big player for the, for the, uh, commanders, nine catches for a hundred yards, even other than that, no one did anything. Uh, Sam Howell looked, looked great. 28 to 44 for 300 yards, but he had the interception, the pick six, no touchdowns. And apparently Sam Howell's got a short trip to the Hall of Fame as well if you uh if you listen to Jim Nance. I don't know what his love affair with Sam Howell is, but God, he's certainly got one, doesn't he? It's really weird. But anyway, uh enjoy the win. Enjoy the uh the rest of the weekend. Happy Thanksgiving to you. The Cowboys will now set their sights uh here a week from now um on the uh Seahawks <coughs> excuse me at AT T Stadium. And you know We'll be looking for that one. We'll be looking for another good performance the next two home games before the Cowboys hit the road and head to uh, Buffalo. Uh, Seahawks and Eagles coming up the next two weeks. We'll keep you posted on everything with that, all the uh, updated injury reports from the game. Fish will have that for you over on his channel. Appreciate you guys tuning in to the Cowboys Daily Blitz. I am Indy Car Tim. Happy Thanksgiving. Have a safe weekend. And until Monday, we'll see you.